Yeah, indeed. I mean, that's what I mean about attitudes changing, expectations of change. You don't expect this kind of thing to happen. I have to say, if that had happened at any point in, in uh, as far as I'm concerned, my life took time as a, as a journalist. I mean, if someone had been flicking through mag pornographic magazines in the, in the members' lobby and had been caught at it, Actually, you wouldn't probably have reported it because in those days there were all these rules about keeping things secret and keeping confidences. And I suspect uh, women would have felt inhibited from re reporting these things now in those days. And they aren't now. They want to, they're determined to, to, to make sure these things don't happen. And that must be a good thing. But as I say, social media has opened up all sorts of opportunities on the downside. Gray, the deputy editor of The Spectator, you made a similar point about this, and you did as well, about social media changing the rules. But she's absolutely spot on, isn't she, about more women, tough women, simply, quote, I'm not going to take it anymore. I, I think that is a perfectly good point. I think, I suppose my point is that um, sort of making it a more egalitarian score in terms of men and women in Parliament is not going to solve the problem. Uh, and the problem is linked to technology um, and linked to a general culture of childishness in Westminster. And